Actually, baka titagin. Baka titagin, baka titagin. Let me just turn on the screen. Up there, like that, so. Um, let's write two model here. So you can get a good screenshot of that there. Two mal. Waiting two minutes for everybody to come back on. <sighs> Waiting. Physics. physics. Two mal. Screenshot that. You have a good sign. Are you ready? Are you ready? Screenshot daddy. <laughs> screenshot that uh, post that on Instagram let the people let them know you're ready to start back you're in iron true kind of speed train are we doing it speed through to man physics we back on back I just let chat know that there so you can get in your mind back to school Win. all right so we back there we back Press like on the video, like up the video, people. Run through some ice dance tomorrow. Yo, sir, sip some water, man. You look a little bit. <laughs> yeah, people need to tell them I'm looking like I'm going through. Waves, yes, waves, waves. The last video I had waves and optics, and I only do optics. I do um refraction, reflection. I didn't do diffraction because that is with waves, waves. Um, I only studied that after I just messaging some people in that group here like Oh shock Sally, body hold our waves boy Right, but I did the hard part there because the optics is really the hard part But the part with waves and diffraction and going through different places and things So we'll see if we will swing back around for waves after this But you know what we say, we had to keep going forward ever backward, never Never backward, forward, ever backward, never, right? That's how we do it. That's the same, so we do it when we do it. And dance. All. Um, what do you vote, boy? What do you vote? Yes, what do you vote with? Then, yeah, so we start in heat and matter. The topics. Topics you're gonna do. So, we're gonna do um, the three means of transferring, conduction. Re um, conduction, right? Is by convection and radiation, right? Convection, radiation. I uh, just spelling kind of scribbly here, so we examining those things. Then we'll talk about expansion by metallic strip, expansion of water. Talk about ice, thing, thing, thing. Then we're going into scales. The Celsius scale versus the Kelvin scale. Um, talk about different types of thermometers. Then, we'll, so we'll kind of speak through this first part. Then we we'll start to go into the good stuff, specific heat capacity. Then we we'll talk about latent heat. And in latent heat, we we'll talk about heat of vaporization. And specific latent heat of fusion. So that is basically the topics them day. Anything else? Anything else I'm missing? Oh, oh, I know. And then I'm going into the next section here. Cooling curves. Why that's so big, way? Cooling curves and gas laws. Cooling curves and then gas laws. Boyle's law, Charles law, pressure law. And then that could be it for thermal physics. Not bad. So Boyle's, Charles, pressure, PV over T, P equal PV over T. And that's it. So read this, read this. So thermal expansion, so it just have, it's just five more subscribers until 22,000. Subscribe to this channel, people. Let's get the 22,000 subscribers. You know, I never ever, on that real, I never thought this channel would have 22,000 subscribers. Boy. Wow. 
as insane right but um you know start man 100,000 now I think can we can reach a million all kind of thing um people rating this how much you know how much you're rating this out out of in terms of how much you know how much how prepared are you for this out of 10 out of 10 how prepared for your are you how prepared for this are you so you know the first five minutes we just take a little time somebody say you're a celebrity how you mean when I walk into schools and thing people as well it's so 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 you see me saying but the talk for the lower six students so most people have between six and nine so when we review this here where everybody to go between nine and ten right once again the topics is conduction convection radiation you must be able to explain those three things like a boss expansion explain where this could come into play like in by bi metallic strips uh explain where it could come into play badly like in real tracks and bridges and whatever um scales so explain your kelvin scale your celsius scale know your thermometers a different style of thermometers thermocouple mercury alcohol blah 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 specific heat capacity then latent heat um and heat capacity in terms of vaporization and fusion latent specific latent heat all right, and then we talk about the cooling curves, and then we're going into the long Boyle's law, Charles law, pressure law. Find out which one is constant, which one varies, whether it's proportional, whether it's inversely proportional. Do one or two questions, and hopefully by 11 o'clock, we out are here. And it's just for you to revise and review the other parts. So we need you in Uncle Kermit. We need in, some people say negative five. So when it's science, I can't do integrated science. Because I don't really know where to go from. You know, like right now we actually touching some of science. We ready to start? We ready to start? I have this thing where I seriously try to help everybody. Here. But there's only so much I can do. There's only so much I can do. And I wish I had like an extra day to just break down the whole of science into one thing. But I'm going through. I'm going through right now. As I said, I, I can't go too long again because... Where things starting to happen, are we up, not feeling good? Alright, I'm not as young as I used to be. Two more C sec physics. Next, 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 next. People ready to start. And they take this and they take this screenshot. And they press like on the on the on the um thing. Let me see. Let me see what is the like like to view ratio here. What is the like to view ratio? So we have 200. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't take care myself. 238 people back on. I don't really know if the likes here. 80 likes. You see? You see? 80 likes. We had to take that up. We had to take that up. I'm not starting until we reach 100 likes. Let's play now. Still start. Hey, but we crossed the 22,000. People will keep balling. Next, 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 next. Ting. Bap, bap, bap. Let's go. Next. So. Next, all right, let's go. So, types of ways that heat is transferred. What are the three ways that heat is transferred? I'll reach back, calculate a man, just text man, say all the um, thing. Yeah, good night. Hey, chicks looking so fat. Well, just excuse me for a second. Yeah? All right, so let me start. So everybody know this? Conduction. You must be able to talk about this. Convection. And radiation. Convection, conduction, convection, and radiation. Don't worry about it, it's like us. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Um, example of conduction. Example of conduction. So conduction true solid um, So tomorrow I'll do some IT programming and flowcharts. True solid convection 
obviously you need to talk about conductors, convector, um, and insulators. I don't really see anything big to talk about here. You read this, you memorize this, you understand this. Just on light heating rocks. But that will have different things. They might give you an example and state, ask you to state the type of transfers that occur in here. Convection is through fluids, right? Or gas. I think fluids could um, intertwine with gas as well. Something sticking my teeth and I'm trying to pull it out, but oh god. Car off. One way it is, I was eating some mango and the stringiness from the mango. Um, I'm gonna stop doing that because some people will tell text me and say that unprofessional and thing. Alright, so radiation and radiation. <coughs> radiation happens. You don't need, it can happen in a vacuum. You don't need a medium, right? So, con convection happens through convection currents. Conduction happens through the solid. And you need to know the what kind of transfer is occurring. So, this happens in two ways. One atom will vibrate and tell the next atom, well, since I vibrate, you vibrate too, not better. And it can pass along through the atoms like that. Or, if you have mobile electrons, one electron will start to move faster and it will send a message and right so that's why metals are better conductors because of the mobile electrons to pass the energy along quicker faster convection takes place through convec convection currents what we call convection currents one area heat up and the expansion of the area will cause will initiate movement in the fluid as it it will create areas of less dense and more dense areas in the fluid and this causes, right, so, so you see people paint some nice definitions there, resell the transfer from molecule to molecule due to vibrations or through free electrons, right? So this, this convection happens as the fluid moves from less dense to more dense areas. Um, it transports the heat along with it. And radiation, you know already what the hell going on there, this happens without a medium. No medium. Um, this is electromagnetic radiation. Why this looking like a different language? <laughs> uh, every time I write a word, I, I say the word. Eh? That's the next thing too. Right? So this is the chance of heat along in electromagnetic radiation. So this could occur without, without a medium. Forward. Forward movements. So you must know little examples, know when what what is occurring, what is not occurring. Ting ting ting. I see people are spreading examples in the chat. Um how do we conserve heat um prevent heat loss? Like in a pipe, like let them little things that I'll be able to explain it. Um the classic example is the vacuum flask. Let's see if I can pull up a vacuum flask then we will, so we can just make sure that we cover the basics. I was trying not to skip the basics, although in my mind, as we say, just skip this and go up to the meat. But just in case it come and somebody was just relying on me alone. Vacuum flask diagram. So the vacuum flask is an example where we stop in the loss of heat with... Many different techniques now, boy. I wish I would just give me a simple diagram, so big man. So, so you know, that um, you know, the fight up here now. Bro. Google is really coming clutch here. Bro. Bam. So, heat loss could occur here. Because heat is transferred via three mechanisms, conduction, convection, or radiation. How is it stopped by convection in the vacuum flask? How is it stopped by radiation in the vacuum flask? And how is it stopped by, why else I didn't say convection?
Well, the thing that stops, the thing that stops, we have nine laws and 12 definitions to learn. You went and figure out how much laws and definitions to learn? Okay, write out the nine laws and 10 definitions to learn. What happened? Um, so the vacuum stops. Uh, so the, you need the purpose, uh, explain the purpose of everything. The vacuum stops the convection and conduction. Because for convection and conduction, you need a medium. So a vacuum, nothing happening there. Um, the silvered surfaces is what stops the radiation because it reflects it back. And that is about it there. Anything else, anytime you see rubber and other kind of thing, that is an insulator. So the shiny layer reflects, that stops um, radiation, the vacuum stops convection and conduction. Um, like if you open the cover, you can get some convection loss taking place here. That's about it. And I guess that is uh, the space between the layers. Anytime you have space between layers, you stop in conduction. Now, the biggest one you want to stop here is conduction, right? Because conduction is the biggest one. But um, convection, then radiation. So vacuum flask is the is the prime example. Let me move forward. Somebody had asked something just now. Focus people exam is tomorrow. Ministry of Education coming back. Alright, so expansion in solids. Expansion. Uh, thermal expansion. I'm talking about you. Give me an example of where thermal expansion um, is used. An example of where thermal, <laughs> what Cohen handwriting looks like. <laughs> Hold on. Focus, Cohen. Don't watch those comments trying to hurt your feelings. Alright. Example where two. So the bimetallic strip is one, and bridges is not one. Bridges is an example of where it, it, it like it bar, right? So thermostat is one ball and ring experiment. So an example where it's used, you're going to buy a metallic strip in like your heater or your fire alarms, stuff like that. Now, an area, of, uh, uh, so there's always, most of these topics, these small topics, you have to look at it in terms of bad and good or advantage and disadvantage. That's right? so how you're trying to learn it off. You're, you're learning the reason for it. Why does expansion occur? Well, as the heat increases in the object, the kinetic energy of the molecules increase, and that um, increases the space be the, the space between the molecules. It increases the length of the bonds between inter intermolecular bonds. So it increases the space between the molecules, right? More kinetic energy increases the size of the whatever it is. Um, so you yeah, talk about that and then you need to know about the bad and the good. Bad situations of this happening is in like in bridges. So to try and prevent it, you'll put gaps, them kind of metallic gaps. And anybody living in Trinidad, anytime you're going over the car and the bridge, you say, krr, krr. Yeah, that's the metallic gaps, right? That's to make sure the bridge expand. We don't break down the whole bridge. Um, so yeah, you talk about the co collision theory. So Leran posts the definitions that he need, he thinks we need to learn. Moment, linear momentum, energy potential, upper fixed thing, ba 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 ba. Cool, 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 cool. Anyhow, so I like I like watch the comments. I ain't gonna guess I track too much of the comments. So you can experience again how expansion occurs. Yeah, so expansion occurs via the kinetic theory. So the, meaning that you add more heat, it moves faster. Moves fa the, the molecules vibrate more. Need more space more space for the vibration that way so basically that <laughs> that's the explanation there but you want to write it in a nice in a nice way that's the next thing technique two in physics and chemistry and biology making sure you write the definitions in a proper way trinidad is not a real place it's true i'm not even real right now i'm not even real all right so the bad uh, bad would be like in bridges again bridges train tracks um 
anything like that. So you'll need to try and avoid that with putting in expansion gaps. So we have the bridges, tracks, and the good where it will be used is the bimetallic strip. And you need to understand the principle of the bimetallic strip. And this is used in things like alarms, fire alarms, that is, fire alarms, and um, this is MET. Eh? Uh, sorry about my handwriting, I'm uh, really sorry, but it's not much I can do about with this thing. When I get my new iPad and thing, everything will be better. My metallic strips, fire alarms, and um, is the next thing I'll say in my heater. Alright, so to more start. Thermostat, my bad. Right, bimetallic strip works very simple. Two metals. Uh, where's it? Where's it? Two metals is normally used by. I think it's brass and copper. Brass and copper. Yeah, brass and brass and iron or brass. No, brass and iron. Yeah, brass and iron. What is brass, by the way? Brass and iron. Brass is brass is an alloy. Brass is copper and something. I forget. Ooh, I used to know these things, boy. What is brass? Brass is made of copper and copper and what, boy? Copper and zinc. Copper and zinc. Anybody in the chat see that? Let me see if I can get some 10 points for, for Griffin that. Brass is copper and zinc. 10 points for Christopher R. So this is an alloy. Now the thing with this, one of them is want to overdo it, boy. One of them is want to overdo it. What's the word we use? So it's another word we use for that. It's a, it's a better conductor of heat. Thing. However, the, the one on top, and uh, draw the, always draw the brass on top, right? For your own purposes, in terms of memorize, memorizing, the brass is ex go through a bigger expansion than the iron. So, let me see. This makes a circuit here. La da 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 da. Contact is here. So, de, 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 de. Boom, boom, drum. There's an alarm. There's a battery. Day. This is your alarm. This is your. Oh, no, 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 no. I want this circuit to make and then make noise. So, so, so. This is your contact here. Right? Oh, you can't see it. I, I block it. That's not. All you understand what I'm going to do, I don't want to waste too much time on this. The brass will go through the bigger expansion. So, let, let's say this, we have a fire alarm set up to make noise if heat is detected or something. Although this kind of bad because you need to actually go through this heat process. Anyhow, so it heating as this gets hot, the brass will expand more than the iron. So it will curve this way. It will touch this contact. You'll complete the circuit. The alarm will ring. It's in reverse for a heater. For a heater, it's in reverse. It's like this. You want the contact to be made. Um. And as it starts to get too hot, it curves away and it will break contact so the iron will cut off. So the iron will keep cutting on and cutting off. Alright, basic stuff, look at it in your textbook, just make sure you memorize it. Make sure you know that, I think the only thing you need to memorize here, brass expands more and you might want to know that the brass is an alloy of copper and tin or whatever it is. Lubia, this man making a run for it. Eh? Alright. Um, I'm gonna put myself back where I was normally we come back across the brother. So we talk about so far. We talk about conduction, convection, radiation, examples, thing, expansion. So now to go into scales and thermometers. Well, it's not much to talk about scales, but see scales. We have Celsius scale, and we have. Kelvin scale. Where's our next name for the Kelvin scale? What's the next name for the Kelvin scale, man? So before you do that, let's let's just 
I think I'll leave out one thing. Water is a funny guy. Water actually gets less dense. It does a little weird thing in terms of the density. So just make sure you can explain that. Zero degrees. This is the classic example. One degrees, two degrees, three degrees, four degrees. So that's why ice floats. That's pretty unique. That's pretty unique there. Right? Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about here? If you know what I'm talking about, press Y. And uh, people already answered this. The next name is the absolute scale. Right, I seen a bit of Y's there. Ooh, I seen some ends. All right. So in a pond, what, when water freezes, it expands. And the volume of the water expands. And this is not normally so. Eh? Like when something goes from liquid to solid, it's supposed to get smaller. When it goes from solid to liquid, it get bigger. Liquid to gas, it get bigger. But water just kind of messed up in that. But that's a very important thing for the existence of life and for the whole way runnings of in, um, the world. Um, the world, yes, this is important to the world economy. <laughs> the freezing of water. All right, anyhow, so you have ice on top here. In a pond, the pond is the example they'll pull out if they're talking about this. And because... Uh, I'm trying to draw the fish here. Oh, it's ready fish again. Right. Because water, when it freezes, it gets less dense. It will remain floating. If water used to get more dense when it freezes, now I want to go to the bottom. And the pond would have freeze from the bottom go up. That means things would have died. That means death. But this freezing here from the top kind of stops the bottom from freezing now too. You know? So it just, it, just works, it just works out really nice. You should just remember that. So, the highest density point is actually 4 degrees. Yes. As pressure increases, temperature increases in the pond. Yes. So, we get some nice little touches there. Little points that I may have left out. People trading. Feel free to say that. I love to see that. At 4 degrees, it expands and it's dense. And then as it starts to decrease, it starts to get less dense. But then, as it gets cooler and cooler and cooler, it, gets, it starts getting back dense. Eh? All right, so that 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 characteristics of characteristic of water is important for why why the fish will stay alive. So uh, we just needed to talk about that, mention that. I mentioned that it's done. You know your Celsius scale, the Celsius scale minus two hundred and seventy degrees. That is absolute zero, but the Kelvin scale actually runs from zero going up. And in the Celsius scale, we assume what's the definition of the Celsius scale? There's a definition. things to remember. Celsius scale. Zero is the freezing point of water. So you have fixed points. You have upper and lower fixed points so we set the lower fixed point to be 0 degrees and the upper fixed point to be 100 degrees and this is the freezing point of water and this is the boiling point of water and then you, you, you create grades for everything like that you grid what is the word I'm looking for? gradation upper and lower right? But the absolute scale starts from zero. Your Kelvin scale starts from where right now? Kelvin scale actually sets absolute zero as zero degrees Celsius. But at ne at this temperature, which is also negative two hundred and seventy-three degrees Celsius, so this is zero degrees Kelvin. Eh? So that degrees Kelvin, zero Kelvin. 
so at, at 0 Kelvin, aka negative 273 degrees Celsius, zero heat, there's the there's no heat take particles will stop vibrating. There's just no energy being given off there. Radiation, as you were looking for. Calibrating the thermometer. Alright, the calibration between is given for each we separate, whatever. Upper fixed point, lower fixed point. Let me see if I could get I could get help with that we are looking for. We then divide the temperature range between the two fixed points into a number of equal parts called degrees. On a centigrade scale, there are 100 equal graduations. Graduations was the word I'm looking for. So the graduations, we set that between 0 and 100 degrees, upper, upper, upper and lower fixed points. I think I touch all the points to talk about there. The Celsius scale is tied to free, freezing point of water and the steam point. This is also aka the triple point of water. Because at zero degrees, you could have the existence of water I want to say water, ice and or steam. Triple point. Let me just double check that. Oh yes. Alright, so we're getting people back on the Back on this, back on the live. Yeah, the two phases coexist at that triple point there. Right? Cohen Springer, talk about how at absolute zero density goes to infinity. Wow, that's some deep stuff there. And I ain't going to talk about that. It is where three states coexist at once at some temperature. Right, yes. Cool. Why is ice less dense than water? That's just how water is. That's just a property of water. And it's less dense because when ice freezes, when water freezes in and forms ice, it expands. So I have do a quick review of what you said. Some people don't have no neck. <laughs> Next, has more volume. So yeah, people might answer any people in the comments there. I have to keep going. I have to move forward. All right, types of thermometers. Types of thermometers. Give me some types of thermometers. You must be able to calibrate your own thermometers using the lower fixed point, upper fixed point, and you get your graduations in between. Make sure you can do that. So we have clinical, we have thermocouple, and we have lab. So you all see in a day? All you see in a day, why? So, all right, give me some examples of the liquid in glass thermometer. Let's be more specific. We can have the mercury. Also, we can spell mercury now. That is what we're saying. Mercury. And you have your alcohol thermometers. Benefit of mercury over alcohol. Benefit of alcohol over mercury. Know that. Um, something else I'm missing here. I need to talk about how to make it more sensitive or something like that. Then. Not seeing that there. Let me check. Let me check here. Alcohol cheap, mercury poisonous, mercury is faster. One is more sensitive than one. Um, I'll just give my little second here. I just want to make sure I cover everything in this topic. Thing, bah, bah, bah. Mercury carcinogenic. Thermometers, given laboratory, clinical, theory, disadvantages of thermal expansion, and what is here to crap. Ah, 
Um, you always just look it up now. Kind of forgetting offhand the benefits of mercury over alcohol. Like the benefits of alcohol. I know mercury. Mercury is easily seen. Mercury is easily seen. Hey boy, come in, come pay me me money. What? I have no money for you. Um, I I owes no one. All right, so mercury, best range. Mercury could go to hotter temperatures. Alcohol could. What is the benefits of alcohol? Alcohol can alcohol can read at lower temperatures than mercury. Mercury is freeze at thirty nine. Right, so alcohol can read at lower temperatures. Mercury does stick to the glass. Alcohol is stick to the glass more than mercury. So I guess the only benefit of alcohol is it could work at lower temperatures. And it and if the thermometer break, alcohol anyway not doing that thing. <laughs> but if the thermometer break and it's mercury, mercury, you know you don't want a mercury in your system. Heavy metal. Alcohol makes you happy. Mercury expands uniformly. So mercury have a lot of benefits, right? Expands uniformly. You can easily see it. It doesn't stick to the glass. Is the last one? Nice. You can go to a hot, hot, right? So you all seen all of that listed there, right? And the like the only benefit again for this is you can work at lower temps. This one you can go high temps because the boiling point of this is 357. 357 degrees. Mosquito coming in here, well, um, it, it do stick like what I'm doing right now. I'm supposed to be going a little faster. Um, uniform expansion to do more expansion. None, none of this coming just for kicks. Last time I said that something's coming. Um, I think alcohol is more reactive. What? I need to stop using that more reactive loosely all the time, sir. When they ask for, <laughs> they, they can be asked here yeah, the benefit of, what's the benefit of this jersey over that jersey? More reactive. Everybody just say more reactive for benefits, right? True. More reactive. That's the first thing people is right. More reactive. We get it. We need to move on. We talk about everything here. Oh, other types of thermometers. The clinical thermometer. What's the key difference in a clinical thermometer? In a clinical thermometer, what's the key difference? And there's one more. There's the thermocouple. Sorry about the handwriting, guys. Large. <laughs> it scales smaller. Yeah, but that's not the key advantage. There's a key advantage in a, in a clinical thermometer that uses glass then. Nobody in it yet. The constriction, Tecato. Tecato. Must hold that Tecato. The constriction, right? So in the bulb, in the bulb, there's a little constriction here. Thin constriction. So that when it expands, it holds the temperature a little longer. Right? And to get it down, it's had to kind of knock, knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it. So it have a little, it have a little constriction. That's the key difference. Right, key difference, key difference. Have a constriction, the constriction at the bulb constriction. At the bulb, this means that when he, it expands, it remains put. So you, after he takes it from under your arm, he could watch it a little longer. But now nowadays they don't use them thing that much. Eh? It's digital thermometers right now. Um, there's be walking around the hospital with a digital thermometer. I know because I spend lots of nights in the hospital. With my son, and I probably know that because if you watch one of my videos, I'll explain what we're done. Um, and oh, it has a limited range. Don't know why I'm spending so much time on this. Limited range between 35 and like about 42. If you're under 35, you're like you're practically dead. Day. If you're over 42 degrees, you're dead, you're dead day too. So we don't really care about anything between there, right? So we're only watching these temperatures. Yeah, 34 to 32. Yes, we don't really care about anything beyond that region. So, 
like that. And the thermocouple uses resistivity to check the temperature. Um, you have two, two, what is called the things by? I forget the name of the two things you spray. You paint a probe, you paint an next probe. Uh, I forget the name of the exact. Uh, I forget any names of things. Right? Uh, and the benefit of the thermocouple, yes, you use it for measuring high temperatures. Since it uses resistance to check the um, temperature, yeah. In the, high, the higher the temperature, the more the resistance now. I don't think it's cathodes, I think it's, it's junctions. Yeah, junctions, I think is the way they use. So you put one junction in the cool and one junction in the hot, or sometimes you just put in one junction, the, the, it have a separate junction built into it. So you just put in one junction in the heat, wherever it is you're trying to measure, or sometimes nowadays you can use a laser thermometer. Similar concepts and the different in potential, um, the difference in current received due to the resistance, because higher temperatures will have a higher resistance. That will be able to, that be against a calibration calibrated scale, and you'll be able to know what temperature you have. All right, let's move on. Thermocouples using high temperatures. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's uh, kill most of the time in this. What is heat capacity? So this is the equation. So what is heat capacity? And what is specific heat capacity? Definitions in the chat. And also, this is the equation. Heat capacity is the ratio of the amount of heat energy transferred to an object in the resulting increase of temperature. Uh, heat capacity energy required to raise yes by one Kelvin. Heat, amount of energy required to raise the temperature of a body by one Kelvin, and the specific heat capacity is the amount of energy required to raise temperature. Of our substance per unit mass. So yeah, you're yeah, adding mass in the specific heat, right? One Kelvin, but must it must be one kilogram of the substance. We good day? So specific specific, you're just adding in mass. So you're just adding in one kg or unit mass or whatever into your definition. Next let me get some next there. But by the way, this is where all the questions is kinda come on in this, or at least Bulk of the questions will come on using this or in latent, latent, the latent business now. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I could probably talk a little bit about that. This just heat capacity just means that as you, as you apply heat to a substance, it's supposed to go up in temperature now. But some substances doesn't want to go up as much as some. It's like me. As I poured my heart and soul teaching to some students in school, some students is take it fat taking some students have a a very short heat capacity. Meaning they just you just tell them something, they take it in one time and they raise the temperature one time. They, they raise the brilliance level one time. You teach them something, you apply the heat. They learn it one time. Some students have a very high specific heat capacity. They teach them something and they don't revise. So they have a, 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 a taking long to raise the temperature. And it's the same thing with is the same thing with specific heat capacity here. For some objects like water, they have a very high specific heat capacity. So it takes a lot of energy to raise the water. Up. Yeah, yeah, that take a lot of energy to raise the temperature of the water. Some 
objects have a very low specific heat capacity. You just apply a little heat to it. If you put a spoon over a fire and hold it for hold it for more than 10 seconds, you have some kind of bionic arms or something, right? Because it raises the temperature very quickly. Water and people are right in the specific heat capacity of water. You could put water over a fire for 10 seconds and you can keep your finger in the water for 10 seconds in the pot and it won't really you won't really get burned. It takes a little while for the water to start to boil. It takes a lot of energy to raise water temperature. So that's what heat capacity is about. Um, what is latent heat capacity about? Latent heat. And the word latent here, the word latent here talking about hidden. Remember guys, three years a pass. <laughs> Horrible explanation par by Terrell to na na na. The explanation was on point. Terrell, hold it up. MLV and MLF of what vaporization, the heat energy. Why ask latent heat? Latent heat is the among the Um Joel Bussard, I'm not too sure if that's necessary. Something Joel had asked me to explain last time, I wonder if I'd went back to it. Um, the heat energy required to change the substance from solid to liquid or liquid to gas at a specific temperature, right? So, latent versus heat. So, in latent, you see, you're applying heat, it raises temperature all the time, and all of a sudden it reaches this little you challenge junction boy. It can't get any hotter. It like at hundred degrees the water and it like bro if we get in any hotter it means we had to change into that gas. But before you make we change into that gas, you had to you had to really try your best. You had to really try your best. So you still applying heat energy there, but you just rock back taking it. Taking it. And it's only after you apply a certain amount of latent heat. Then you're going to change the state, and that's that that latent heat is what we're talking about there. The energy required to convert to change phase, to change phase. Whether you're going from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. You know the trickiest questions in physics. Probably one of the trickiest in the whole physics syllabus is when they ask in your stuff, um, like the energy required to raise. And they put in two liquids with two different specific heat capacity. And then they want the energy required to raise it up and they get the change. And those kind of questions, you need to make sure you know what you're doing. Because you need to add up the masses and then get the average. And whew, it's be a little seen. Those questions I think are the toughest. So maybe you'll do one of that. And then there's the next question where you have one. And then it changes state somewhere in between and then it continues going so you need to account for the energy to raise it up energy to change state and energy to raise it up again you all understand you'll ever see you'll ever see those types of questions popping up anywhere uh, then. so maybe we'll see if we can find one we nearly done. We, we are going to gas laws now. So let's see if we can find a question. Let's see if I can find a question that does that. Um, we crystal in ten point ten I'm looking for a question here. So, 2012 5B. 2012 5B. Alright, let me see. 
I put these past people as them way. Twenty twelve five B y'all are not finding any past people. So. Oh you just resend man. Resend okay, I find that twenty twelve. I'm looking for a question here, a kind of tough question. C is equal to MC, yes, yes, yes. So a lot of people talk about that. 10 to 12, 5 B. This thing freeze. Me. The questions that freeze from last time. Some. Where I put these links, why? Oh, yes. C sec pass papers. So right now, I'm looking for. Twenty twelve five B is it June? Looking for a good question here that we can just examine. So impulse and momentum, I wouldn't get to that, so you'll have to learn on your own. Somebody see twenty twelve five B. Yes. Alright, this this one not that bad. I think. So let's see. Mm. And I smell in this. Are they smelling this one too? Are they feeling like this could come? What do you think? Are they sensing this? So this is twenty twelve five B. Yes. One's on milk, one talk to your mother. So you could quickly go by like the right hand grip thing. I have that already. I did that, the whole of that. Am I a joke? Am I a joke to you? Nah, I did the whole of that. I did the whole of that. And we spend a lot of time talking about that when I do it. So I just make any question bigger. <laughs> That was my son. He wanted milk. His mother right there. Alright, so yeah, a block of ice of mass 200 grams was heated. Dang, dang. Calculate the energy used in juice. Uh, so we heated ice. So the ice need to change into liquid. Then it need to change. I need to heat up. So you need to go from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. So we need to change the ice, the block of ice, to liquid at 0 degrees. Then we need to heat it up. You all understand? And then we need to change it to steam at 100 degrees. And that's that's the, the, the scene in these kind of questions. So let's try and walk through this step by step. I think this went for six months. Zero degrees to 100 degrees. They gave us anything, they gave us the species, the species, specific, specific. They gave us all the specific heats. Why, 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 why? Let's make sure all the units are on point. Nah, boy, all the units not on point, you know? I leave my iPad really shutting down these days. Let me see units there, but you notice something here? Kilograms. And what you see here? Grams. So let me change that one time now. So the mass we got the 2000 grams. We don't want no grams here. We want kilograms. Two kilograms. So we good day. A man said the answer is 60. I can't make out how much zeros day. One, two, three, one, two, three. Six million joules. Six million joules. Okay, then. We'll see. All right. So, the first thing is the E. The e. Always write this E. E H latent. 
for fusion. Now see how high the latent heat for vaporization is. So we we'll call this one L Vina boys. Let me call this one L L S. That's the term they use most of the time, L V and L S. A little rusty in this one. Um, we call this one C. L V. Well, we starting off with L S. No. Fusion. Fusion. L. L F and L V. Uh, L F and L V. I uh, have them in the wrong order. L F fusion and L V and C. Right. F for fusion. V for that. Right. Good. So the fusion one first by the M. All right, boys. So all you all you call that for me now. Pull out all your calculator. Do all the thing. Let me get the value there. I think this is three three zero 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 times two. Give me an answer. Eh? Give me an answer for this one. I do the whole answer. Answer for the first one. So uh, I guess it's six six, right? Three thirty three by so six six zero 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 joules. So you understand. So this first part taking six six zero 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 joules. All right, time to call the second part here, boys. So the second part. This is the this energy for the second part is gonna be equal to MC delta T. So we have two times C now four two zero zero and changing temperature is a hundred here. How much is that gonna be? That's gonna be eighty four uh one two three zeros, two more zeros to go. One, two, three, four. No. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four zeros. Zero, one, two, three joules. So that's the second part there. So this was the first part here. So I think this was eight, four, eight, four, zero, zero, one more zero. Eight, that I think that is what it was. And the last part now, this this is gonna be this is gonna be the real killer here. See how much energy it takes to make this one occur. It's two times that big nasty number here. Two times two two five zero five zero 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 zero. Oh, that extra too. Yeah. So that looks like four five zero zero zero. This is four five zero 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 zero. And when we add it all up, what we get? Yeah. Yeah. So it's really looking like Big man was correct when he says six six million joules. Six million joules was right. So the answer is six million joules. This is when he add up the tree, right? So once again, we went from ice to water at zero degrees. Temperature remained the same, so there's a latent heat. Then we went from water to water, but we raised the temperature from 0 to 100. And then we went from 100 degrees water to 100 degrees steam. By the end of that, get a question, rock away with our 6 max. Why is in the chat? So do another question. That question was, that question was vibes. I think it had more to the question. Outline three differences between light wave da da da. Oh, look there! Look there is something here. 
don't know why this mark will interest so much marks. And remember, I tell you, they always like to ask you about power afterwards. This is what they asked. This is what was asked. That. If the activity took place in 6,000 seconds, how much power is utilized? And you're using this energy transfer. Power over time. Power. Not energy. Sorry, you're wrong, 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 wrong. Power is equal to energy transfer. Over time, the rate of doing work work done over time. So you put your energy that we had here over the time, and that'll be a power in watts. And people gain 1,000 watts. But I don't know why they're saying, I don't know why they're saying three marks for this. These are two mark question. Somebody asks what you're adding up again. This is where you're adding these values. So this was the heat of fusion. This was the, the heat to raise the temperature. Um, from zero degrees hundred, and this was the heat of vaporization. Next, let's we we may come back to another question. Let's just check the cooling curve. Well, I guess the cooling curve is self-explanatory. The curve dealing with how things cool in. Got any trick to remember in this one? I remember. You just need to be able to state these states, different states now. So like if you see two spots like this, this might be, if you see two spots, okay, this actually have three spots. If you saw a flat there, then a flat here, then it went on like this. Why I keep drawing 3, 4, boy, what is wrong? Um, what I want to do? It coming down, it made a flat. Come down, made a flat again, and then go. Right? Cooling. So, they might ask it to label these states. Like, they might say, this is A, this region is B. What phases are present at A and B? Like that, in the substance as it cools. Can you all tell me the phases that's present at A and B? And I'm going to give you any information again. I don't need to get any information again. This axis is temperature. This axis is time. What phases what phase are present at A? What phases are present at B? Some people are saying A is a liquid. Some people are saying A is gas. Some people are saying ice cream. Some people are saying gas and liquid. Right, so let's explain this. So here's gas. As it cools, it will take a little while because here we have gas and liquid present. Then as it cools down again, is uh, after all the gas turns to liquid, you'll only have liquid. Then the same thing occurs here. You'll have some liquid with some solid. So it takes a little while to change. This is the same latent heat business going on here again. And then at this stage, you only have solid. Now, this stage here is solid. There. Now, the graph that they give us for CXE is normally between between here and here. Somewhere there they'll give it. But I just can show you the whole thing so you can understand what to do. And if they ask you what is the melting point or freezing point, the freezing point will be here. The axis was the boiling point, the boiling point will be here. So you can read off the temperature and figure out what is the melting point, the freezing point of whatever it is. You might use steric acid or, or I forget the next thing. Some kind of wax, paraffin wax or some kind of thing. So you're blocking. I'm blocking anything important. I'm blocking anything important. Some people just like to say, so you're blocking. Or well, the kind of people when your teacher writing on the board. So, 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 I can't see the man writing in the book and he now start writing him and now write the date. I can't see. Right? As I'm blocking anything important there. So I point the arrow there. 
fusion and fission points yes fusion and fission points fission and fission points I don't know if mono fission points but the fusion points here so my head's still blocking <laughs> ah, NXSS gaming one more word from you and you gain sent to detention <laughs> I turn off this video and I'll show this man say. Wait. So when is the electromagnetism of you too? Y'all stop with that. Yes, right. So we good to go there. Why is in the chat? Why is in the chat? So we could go on into boys no chance no. So we have boys no. Chance no. We have the pressure no. We're gonna look up the best way to memorize this. Just imagine all them lines are straight. Now, <laughs> man, take the depression now. In this column, I want you to tell me what is constant. What is constant in that? Very rich, very rich. Temperature thing, bam. Disadvantages, magnetic strip, bam. Two more measurements, control of that. Cooling, and select the case specific capacity, evaporation, evaporation, boiling. Oh, you need to be able to define what is evaporation, the difference between evaporation and boiling. You missed that. The difference between evaporation and boiling. Um. Convection, I'm just checking up to see how everything will be everything. Convection, afterwards, I'll just go back through everything that I find it home to make sure we leave out anything. Mm -hmm. And boys, law, thing, law, but that. Alright. So, what I tell my students um, to remember. This word boil here mean temperature. So temperature is constant. Temperature of the equation. In the pressure law, pressure is not constant. So that means in Charles law, pressure is constant. And in the pressure law, the next thing we have to be constant, volume. So I think I, I think that is a D. And you know it's only PV and T, right? P V over T is equal to P V over T. This is the big equation here. These are the two things you need to remember and you have the whole of it done. What is constant and this big equation here. Are you understand? And everybody can memorize that in one minute. Everybody can memorize that in one minute. PV, so do you know Mr. Gabriel from 4.14? What? No. Evaporation is each. Well, I don't know if I know. Maybe I know. I don't know. Evaporation is the changing liquid thing. Right, so just make sure you know the difference between evaporation and boiling, people. Boiling takes place at a certain temperature, but evaporation could go, could have not any temperature. Evaporation occurs on the surface of the liquid, while boiling occurs throughout. Evaporation occurs at any time, while boiling occurs at a particular temperature. So know the differences between boiling and evaporation. Don't know. We just talk about it there. People put it in the comments. So, this is the combined law. This is the gas law. I think this is we call this the gas law. And we'll put ones here and we'll put twos here most of the time. Right? Like that. One situation, next situation. That is it. I'll show you how you can just use these two pieces of information to figure out everything. You have this piece of information here where you have the boil's law. You know that the temperature is constant because boiling, boiling, T constant. In the pressure law, Pressure is not constant, so it's V. V is constant. And P will have to be constant here in the Charles law. 
that's 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 it. That's all you need to remember there, and you kind of work along from there. You could also equate this to a constant, yes, key, right? So sometimes we, we find the constant key and then move along with your life. So to find the formula now for Boyle's law, if temperature is constant, we just remove temperature out of the equation. So the formula for Boyle's law would be PV is equal to PV. Well, you'll have ones there and twos there, right? That makes sense, people? Why is it in the chat? Keep in mind, this is equal to a constant. And keep in mind, you need to be able to explain this like this. The pressure of a gas with fixed mass and fixed temperature is inversely proportional to volume. Boyle's law, the pressure of, of a gas with a fixed mass and fixed temperature. So you'll always have fixed mass, but in this case, temperature is fixed. So fixed mass fixed temperature is proportional to the volume, directly proportional. The rest of them are inversely, because, okay, let's take the pressure law, where pressure is not constant, so we have to cross over the V. So in the pressure law, you have P and T, equal P and T. This one would be V and T, equal V and T. All right, so, oh, I was blocking there for real, for real now. Though. So that's the, that's, that's the law there. Keep in mind, all the temperatures here have to be in Kelvin. Boyle's law, temperature is constant. Pressure law, pressure is not constant. So V has to be constant. Charles law, pressure is constant. And I'm all days a day, you use some of them things to solve that. Yeah. Alright, so let me get some wise in the chat if you understand that. Pussad, Pussad, the joke gone, boy. Gosh, he's me up now, brother. Yeah, I'm start to pray that you get... <laughs> Anyhow, let's not take it that far. Yeah, so, pressure loising, blah, 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 blah. I guess it's now to do a question. Chavi, what happened? Just now, well, yeah? Coming back in. What All right, I tell you, I did DC and AC generators already. Fluid dynamics. Okay, what are you talking about? Let me get a shout out. Which which country you're from? Where school you're from? Let me see who from where and what from what. What from what from? What school you're shouting at from? We have Guyana, we have Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad, Guyana, Guyana, Trinidad, Vinci, Rep St. Martin, Grenada, DB, High School, Queens Royal College, the Beast, QRC, right? Grenada, Shiva Boys, Jamaica, Manchester High, uh, Cornell, Cornwell, Jamaica, Guyana, Guyana, Bonnet, Cayman, Trinity College, Lucia, Calabar, Grenada, Bishops, Something Academy, German, Germany, what? Germany, Tunapuna, Anadadali, Sec, whatever, Kingston, CIC, CIC, 
um, training that thing. So we have CIC, we have QRC. So we have this, we have only tongue schools in here. Brazil, St. Kitts, Mansi Africa, yes. We have Vishnu boys. Um, I see some colleges from Jamaica, Kingston College, um, St. Joseph, see some corn something college. Uh, I was talking to some people about the colleges in Jamaica. All right, so. Oh, you see, we have people from all over the place inside the dance. So let's start to look at some questions. I think you need to know about the gas thermometer or how a barometer works. And the explanation of the gas law and the kinetic theory of matter. So that is about it. investigating the pressure law I ran out of energy people I don't think I'll be able to come back again online I don't want to see about my kids too my youths them so you all will be on your own for the rest of the night after I do a little question here I wouldn't be able to tackle anything again as I said can't be doing these late things right through right through right through right through elders Okay, so let's let's pull out that question. Um, let's pull out that question. So you all can tell me a question where I can get a question from. It would be better explaining the question. I man, see why it's the. No, right above here there's a question. Okay, this is kind of like an explanation question. These explanation questions. People there's loose marks in them, one or two marks, because it doesn't explain too sweet. Mm -hmm. So we had the whole Caribbean in the dance. Everybody here know about know about Tad Boss. Do radio activity before you leave, please. Tad Boss. Because someone somebody talk about Tad Boss. I know about Tad Boss. State the equation for the general gas law. Now well, you know that the PV T equal K, right? Yes. Not everybody know about tag boss. Let me tell you about tag boss. Right? Not too soon, not too long after the CSEC exam, the maths exam, this man videotaped himself in the CSEC exam, cause a whole star back and in Trinidad. And tag me, CXC, and his school, and all kind of thing. Is either he or his friends post the video and tag me up in it? So, like, I just couldn't understand that. So, I, the name for that man is Tag Boss. So, that is basically the Tag Boss story there. He videotaped himself in an exam. And then the video end up online with me tag, CXC tag, and Holly Bridge and them tag. Holly, um, the school, school team. Hmm? Here it is. Right, and a little girl blew up a balloon during a Christmas celebration, explaining in terms of the kinetic theory how the pressure is exited by the end of the balloon. So you see this kinetic theory, have that down cork. Kinetic theory of matter, a gas is made up of gas molecules that are in constant motion. One, the collisions of the gas molecule within the walls of the balloon exit a force on the balloon. This is pressure. Pressure is force per unit area. A higher temperature, well, we're not talking about temperature in this situation, but I'll mention it anyhow. A higher temperature means because this situation, temperature is constant. What she changing here is the volume, and the volume, since the temperature is constant, if you increase the volume, your pressure will increase, so volume will push open bigger. But anyhow, a higher gas temperature means the average speed of the gas molecules is higher. 
So when you increase the temperature of the gas, the temperature, when you increase the temperature of the gas, kinetic energy of the molecules increase. So they occupy more space. They go wider apart. But if you keep them, if you keep them contained in the same space, they will apply more pressure. Well done, Salem. And increasing the volume of gas, increasing the amount of gas molecules. The more gas molecules there are, the higher amount of force exited per unit area in the balloon. So that's for this example. By explaining the kinetic theory in a whole. So pay attention. Pay attention. Anytime you talk about the kinetic theory, you're talking about the energy of the molecules in the gas. And as they move about, they create force on the walls of whatever, the container, the balloon, the tire, the whatever it is they ask in the exam. If you increase the temperature, you increase the energy, you increase the force. And if you don't allow the volume to increase, in other words, if the volume is constant, aka pressure law, the pressure will have to go up when the temperature goes up. If you keep the pressure constant, aka Charles law, the I said something wrong just now. I know I did. With the volume. If you keep the volume constant and you send the temperature up and you keep the volume constant, yes, the pressure must go up as well. If you keep the pressure constant and you send any temperature up, well, then the volume must increase as well. But if you keep the temperature constant, like the, the, the gas or whatever is at constant temperature and you increase the pressure, if there's an increase in pressure, it means Hmm. Let me think about that. Oh, I have to use the word increase in volume. If there's an increase in volume and you increase the temperature and you keep the temperature the same, if you increase any volume and you keep the temperature the same, the pressure, I can't explain it like that. The pressure needs to, the pressure multiplied by the volume must be equal to a constant. So as this goes up, this must go down to be to maintain the constant. Yeah, right. Look at that brain hook. So many confusing in maths exam. Anytime I stick on some point, people will be like, hey, hey, so thing, thing, thing. Right? Alright, so let's try one another question. That was an explanation question. Let's try another question. Another question. I think cool when reading from a book. I reading from three books. I reading from physics for CXC, physics for CSEC, and physics for you, and the syllabus. I just want to make sure I cover everything. So you should make a song with Sensei about Tadmos. Yeah, me and Sensei are working on a song about Tadmos. Guaranteed, all your bet now. Guaranteed this uh, after this exam season done, or even before the exam season done, I coming out with a song for Tadmos. Uh, uh, I know we're not song, obviously. Um, let's see if we find our next question. With I don't want to do 2018, I want to do 2017 or before. Let's see if we find another question with with pressure. Now please, you might say I didn't do radioactivity or any other of those things. If you watch my video where I do the whole paper, the, vid, the three videos, I only had two videos last year, two videos where I do two whole papers and that help real people in physics. Because when I went through the papers, I explained lots of things. So you could go through those papers afterwards. Here's a question to try, which involves, I will just explain the concept and you have to try it out. I will see I will get another timeline here at the bus out. Can't stay too long. I'm so sorry. The following data was obtained in the experiment using the motion heater. And you're trying to find the specific heater vaporization. There's a can and a water 
mass of can and water at the start of boiling, mass of can and water at the end of boiling, power of heater, time of heating. Wait, wait. Hmm. So what do you think is this happening here? We heating up a can with some water. It, it, it boiling, eh? it already boiling, it start to boil. Some of the water boiled off. So it have a little less water now. A mass of water was lost. So now you can use that energy. You can find that energy lost there in, in vaporizing some of that water and backtrack it to find it specifically to need a vapor. Rarization. Um Right, so I'll do the question. So power is equal to energy over time. Power, so energy here is equal to power by time. Power was 150 watts by 5 minutes by 60 to change it to seconds. You should get 50 by 5, 750 so times 60. Should get 4,500. 45,000, sorry. Jews. And then it'd be like EH should equal to MLV. M here in this case is. 0 0.2 0 0.02 because it's subtract right 0 0.28 minus 0 0.26 plus 0 0.02 was lost there and you multiply that by LV LV is what we're trying to find you have 45 whatever here Four five zero zero zero, and try and remember these numbers. Try and remember these numbers. It will come in handy to know if you're doing things correct or wrong. Specifically, capacity of water, fusion, and vaporization. Try and have an idea. So, like, when you see a big number, you don't get frightened. When you see this number, you know you're going correct. So, the number we're trying to get is around this number here, two point two and a quarter million. So, I think it will go to be exactly that, right? So, 45000 0, 0, 0 divided by 0 0.02, same thing, right? So, means we went down correct. This is equal to LV, which turns out to be 2.25 by 10 to the power of 1, 6. I think last time I may have less talk units, so that's the last time. How are how, if you, how you find out? So, any other thing we left out here, boy? Make sure you can explain your kinetic theory, Brownian motion to some extent. I didn't do waves, but I did light. Next year, I had to do waves for <laughs> anybody who in, in the dance next year. Know how to talk about the greenhouse effect, but you should know that from. Um, Geography, if you're doing geography, how solar water heaters work. That's just applications. Explain if what um, the vacuum flask, convection, conduction, radiation, new uh, state, some matter, latent heat, your heat capacity, fusion, vaporization, difference between evaporation and boiling. Let's just do a a quick speed through of everything we do. This is when we was doing the light earlier today. I went through all of everything in light, we went through every single thing in optics. Then we started thermal physics. These are the topics that we went through conduction, convection, radiation, expansion, scales, thermometers. Specific heat capacity, latent heat capacity in terms of vaporization, and that went through the Boyle's law, Charles law, and pressure law. We didn't really get a good question on that yet. 
you get a good question on that yet. Let me see, I'm gonna try one more, one more time to see if I can get a good question on that. Come on, question. No need to hide. One more time to see if I can get a good boy. It's no question. I want to do a random question. Sleeps. <laughs> People just write in sleep in the chat. By the way, y'all can do this style of question. We have 400 and something people here. Can you do this style of question? Just ask it. Look at this question I'm going to post. Can you do it? Can you do that style of question? See some wise in the chat if you could do that style of question. Wise, a good bit of wise man. Good bit of wise. Some people in between make sure you can do that question by the end of the night. I don't know what's going on with them, but they only gain heat capacity question. You know how long I'm looking for uh, a boy's law question or some or chance law pressure law. Some knows a good bit of wise. Some people say they just did they just do it. What's the chances? So I guess yeah, they can link up with each other in the chat afterwards and make sure they can do that question. I guess. Most of the time they bring in specific heat capacity, so really look out for boys, no question boy. Let me see what happened last year. Or oh, Charles, no question. Check in your textbook for the example or in your notes for the example of the type of question. Kind of recap everything and I'll show you how to remember it. That's be the toughest thing to remember which one is which. Find these questions coming in no kind of order, boy. Only once that specific heat capacity. So really look out for one of the gas law questions. Let me just explain how to do this question here. Describe an experiment to compare the ranges of beta and gamma radiation. So this is beta and gamma emissions. I'm not going to talk about that. That's straight from your textbook. One could go through one could go through gamma could go through nearly anything. And one stop stop by sheets of paper and one stop by lead. Right? A certain thickness of lead. A liquid fluoride thorium reactor is said to be a new green nuclear reactor. Um so you just need to add up these things. Then they split into the creatine. You need to know the different types of radiation. You have alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha radium radiation is the helium nuclei. Beta is the fast moving electrons, and gamma is electromagnetic radiation. So you have some betas, you have some beta taking place here. Um, the reaction, yeah, what do you want you to do? Get the values of X, Y, and Z. So this is maths here. This is, B, this is maths here, people. In other words, you would be comparing the numbers on the top and the numbers on the underneath and making sure that they add up. After you figure out X now, you need to make sure and get U and V. and It's kind of straightforward. I hope you understand what I'm saying. In other words, like if this was 2, obviously it's not 2, it's a big number. If this was 2, this was 0 plus 2. So you had to be the same as x. Yeah. And you, you lost an election here, so you know what to do there. Yeah, when you lose an election, one neutron is turned into a proton. Uh, 
one proton neutron is still intact proton yeah one neutron is still intact proton and give off an electron or something like that same thing going on here compare the numbers on the top make sure they add up numbers on the bottom make sure they equal on either side and then they give us the mass so you need to work out the mass lost this is be the hardest kind of questions for this I'm just kind of going through like this would help students who midway in. If you're real horrible in this, I don't think what I'm going to do now will help you, right? What you had to do is work out the mass loss in the boxes that I did there. Add up the total amount of mass here. Add up the total amount of mass there and get the, end, the mass loss. And the mass loss will be equal, equal mc squared. The mass loss multiplied that by c squared and that will give you the energy. Most likely that is what they're asking you for in that question. And if I have the next part of the question, snapped I don't I don't but most likely that is what they're asking you for so the mass lost in these equal MC questions the mass loss sometimes they'll just give you this part of the question and stop and talk about gamma radiation and thing but sometimes they could go in deep into it if they're going in deep into it you're using this formula and to me that's the most fun formula to use in the whole of the physics syllabus E equal mc squared is feel like I done when you use that formula right so you just need to get the mass loss between from the from the left hand side to the right hand side they're giving you the mass of each of the substances mass loss e equal mc squared that'll give you the value of the energy all right we had to take it we had to take it there I hope some people will help some way or the other by this live and the live that I did before and the live that I did before before I just got another product to review people are sending me products to review so I'll review that sometime out of exam season probably later this week or something maybe when I'm doing multiple choice we'll see about that blessings to everybody who have exams tomorrow make sure you revise eh? We didn't do a lot of physics as we did in chem. We did more chem than we did physics. Like when I did chem, I do a lot more. Um, I run through a lot of chem because chem was a scene that way. The greenhouse effect. In the greenhouse effect. And I talked about this in the, when I did the bio, when I did the, is it up? Biology or geography? You have low, you have, you have short wavelengths coming in. And the long wavelengths that come out is are infrared. Long wavelengths are reflected back down via greenhouse gases. So that's the long and short of it there. Yo, this this is what I have here is greenhouse gases. This is radiation from the sun coming from space. Hit the earth. Um after it hit the earth it well, what is emitted is infrared radiation, which is a longer wavelength. And the longer wavelength, some is get as some is escape, but some is getting reflected back. And the more greenhouse gases we have, the more infrared radiation get reflected back. So please do a quick explanation on the half-life equation. Half-life equation. Look at the ending of my. I'll just give a quick explanation. But the ending of the video that I did the any one of the videos, I think it's two or three, uh, two or the three of the videos that I did with the physics past paper, I explained that. Half-life, you know it's going like this, it's decaying. One one on on ones, the x-axis will always be time. Sometime in years, sometime in months, sometime in seconds, depending on what it is. And this axis will always be activity. Well, not always, but usually activity right what a half-life is the time taken to go from one activity level to half the activity level so you could give, bring this in the first question so like if you had 100 here you look for 50 here you go across you find what this value is find these two values let's say this value was one um, let's say this value was 10 seconds and this value is 20 seconds it would mean that the half-life is 10 seconds then if you go to 25 here 
guess what? Guess what is going this value gonna be? 30. Because it went half. Half of 25. So that's the half-life there. So half-life and graph like that, the half-life equation. Look in the ending, look in the ending of my videos where I did the question on half-life and have it fully explained there. So what's going to happen to maths? We don't know what's going to happen with maths yet. Yeah, one well, to maths. We know I don't know why they're not giving me a full update on maths on here in rumors and shadows and things. Guys, subscribe to my sh channel or you can check him out and if you like the channel, subscribe. Um, physics Endgame. So thanks, bye. Later to all the people going, I see people going, uh, about 50 people and gone already. So do Logic Gates. I did Logic Gates in three videos ago. I think three videos ago. Three or four videos ago. Look up electricity and magnetism. At the ending of that video is Logic Gates. Logic Gates, I did. Logic Gates. You're welcome, Joel. Hold it down. I wish you the best. Take out to here. Blessings. Um, Jenna, Dean, Denise, bless, bless, bless. Um, so thanks. You helped me out a lot. I hope you get through better. I ain't know anything in physics. I hope you get through better. <laughs> thanks, sir. Logic Gates. I did Logic Gates already. Um, subscribe to my channel, everyone. Yeah, if, if only want to subscribe to whoever subscribe. Sleep good. Thanks, 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 thanks. Respect and manners. Blessings tomorrow. Only let me know how it go. So far, all the other exams going pretty good. It was only the maths, English B, and POA was a nightmare. All the other exams, things that we prepared for, come. A lot of the things we prepared for, come. People was ready. The exam come easy. Things was nice. So, Jonathan, Veer, JC, Jamelia, Jel, Kikidan, Shakira, Kaya, Darren, Adi. Good to see you. Um, Darren, Caleb, Gavin, Matu, Kikidan, Joshua, Ricardo, Takato again. English viewers, normal, respecting, ba ba ba. So, are you holding down something else has been on say? Sorry to the integrated science people, boy. Sorry, I could not, could not squeeze in that. But if you watch all my other videos on physics, biology, and chemistry, you'll see some of the topics in the loop. You're welcome to all the people that are saying thanks. I hope you all remember everything. Don't just go to sleep now if you know you're not too hot. Eh? Take some more. Take a two hours more and revise back everything. If you know you're not too hot. If you're, if you're good to go, well, you're good to go. <sighs> Alright. Later. Press in the end stream link.